Are we getting excited about the new 5G booster coming up? Keep it simple, keep it real, no. Now, this is, um, maybe this is the most difficult video I've ever made. Not because it's a difficult topic, but because I'm actually really concerned and I'm, I'm quite honestly letting my guard down, but I'm going to not use um, no, no, too many negative words in this video. The problem that I have that I could see happening soon enough is with the 5G booster, it's not about the booster not doing what it's supposed to do. It is about what people are going to expect when they use a booster on their system. And I, um, I did a video last year and I tried to explain the key differences between Cellfi Go boosters or boosters in general, how it helps for voice, versus a device that just uses an antenna to connect to a good modem. Now the key thing, the key difference is for me, um, and there's many reasons for this, is if you have a boost, and this is the self I go 4G, 3G model, so this is not the new one, this is, just to be clear, this is the existing model that does 4G only. What it is, is one antenna in, one antenna out. So you only have the ability to boost one antenna only. 4G, as we know, uses 2x2 two two MIMO at least. So two antennas needs to be fed into a modem on the other side, or well, a modem in general, to get you a good internet connection. What happens if you use a one device, one in, one out, and you boost that, you try to pick up 4G out of that, you lose one of your two antenna connections. It's still there, but this overpowers that and the modem gets confused, so it only uses what comes out of the cell fire into the 4G connection. So what we tell people to do is don't worry about this. Just use an antenna direct into a modem such as the night talk that you have here. Easy. That's the way to go. The other thing that a booster always does, it is an amplifier. Amplifier will simply add noise to the system. It's an electronics part of physics. It does the way it is. So your signal to noise will suffer through an amplifier. That's why we try to use an antenna as much as possible. Antenna, any antenna, good antenna, either directional XPOL 2 antenna or maybe MIMO 312 or something like that, goes into your modem. I have the night talk here. The same story applies for the Deltonica routers as well. An antenna connected into your modem gets you a nice and, um, data connection, and that's all it is. There is no benefit in using a cell fire or a booster for your data connection. It is really focused around the voice and the single antenna boosted signal, but you do increase your system noise because that's the way amplifier works. That's that. All right. Now, the problem with the 5G boosters that I can see is it is still one antenna in one antenna out. You get more complicated ones, you get proper fancy ones that it gets installed in buildings, in, in like uh, high-end uh, office buildings or in hotels or hospitals. So that's a different product and there's a whole design you can do with that. But your um, everyday user, the people that are going to think they're going to buy a booster for their caravans or for their boats or for their homes, they're going to buy the type of product that is one antenna in, one antenna out. That means you now have a, there's my RUTX50. So this is one of the beauties that we have from Teltonica. It has four antennas coming in. And my understanding, what I've been told and what we've seen so far, you need the four antennas to actually get the 5G working properly. Now you have a booster. Again, this is the 4G booster, but it's just to tell the story. One antenna gets boosted out. You get a stronger version of that one signal that comes through the antenna and everything. But what about the other three signals that the modem is trying to look for? I don't know. Um, and I don't know till we actually test this. It is a question, and I guess this is an open question to Nextivity, to the cell phone distributors here in Australia, or anybody who is more um, now closer to the design or intent of the most basic or entry level boosters, what is it going to give us that is not going to cause support calls? Because my current concern is, and this is really just a concern, I haven't seen this yet, but I could see this happening, is that people are going to buy a 5G enabled cell phone repeater with the expectation that it could improve their 5G internet. And how do people test their 5G internet? They use speedtest.net. 
And I think that's going to be a massive concern. Support calls are going to come to people like us and our competitors and other suppliers and installers who say, well, this thing is not working. My speeds with my 5G router is bad because of router, uh, the uh, booster. I don't know if this is going to happen. I don't have an answer in this video. I just thought I really have this massive frustration about what's going to happen. And at the moment, I cannot get myself to be excited about what's going to happen when the 5G boosters hit the market, because I think customers expect 5G boosters are going to boost the speed. I think 5G boosters potentially is just going to boost the signal strength, but it's not going to boost the speeds because where you have four antennas, you're only boosting one of those antennas through your booster. Um, and it's not going to end well. That's my feeling, that's my concern, and I'm actually now hoping that somebody could tell me I'm wrong at the end of this video in the comments below or just to start this conversation. I don't know if I'm clear in what I'm trying to say here, but um, please let me know what you think and, and also quite keen to be part of the conversation to get our heads around this. So what are we going to do when we get the 5G um, boosters and how good are they going to be for us? But for now, if you ask me openly, if you uh, con contact rfshop.com.au, the message we will say is get a good modem, get the RUTX50 from Teltonica, get a nice 4x4 antenna such as the um, MIMO 314 or the MIMO 317 so you can put on a caravan or the Omni 412 you can get for your boat or the new upcoming MIMO 417 or 19 so that's from Pointing as well that's um, it's already on our website we're just waiting to get stock so we can get them up or if it's in a building you can use the MIMO X uh, sorry MIMO <laughs> the MIMO what am I saying MIMO x 24 on a building connected to the X50. Those are the solutions I would recommend until I know better how this, X, um, this new 5G booster works. I am concerned that people are going to expect faster 5G speeds because of the booster. Now the word booster is becoming a problem. You'd rather say it's a repeater and a repeater does not necessarily um, raise the expectation that it is going to help your, um, boost your 4G, 5G speeds. Said enough. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.